I want to talk about something that I've been thinking about quite a lot lately. And it's something that we all know and it's always in the back of our minds, but I think sometimes it's good to have a little refresher, you know, something to bring it back to the forefront where we can always be present and conscious thinking about it. And it's this idea of always trying to impress and be impressive, whether that's for a client or for your boss or for your peers, your friends, your family, or even yourself. Because a lot of times on personal projects, that's what it takes. You know, you, you run out of steam, you wanna take shortcuts, you wanna do it the easy way. And what ends up happening is if you go that route, you make something that doesn't really impress you, it doesn't make you feel good about what you've done. And you always have to have this idea in your head about trying to impress. And hopefully that's what motivates you and encourages you to take it that extra step to do it the right way, to make it better than what it could be. And this is something that I know I need a lot of encouragement on my own personal projects, but it's something to keep in mind too when you're working on something for a client and you've got a last minute deadline and you just, you don't, you just want to get it done. Is that actually going to impress the client or is that going to make things worse? Is that sticking with the status quo or is that providing an opportunity to grow and get better and do cooler things down the road? Maybe it's an opportunity to impress your boss and go the extra mile, put in the extra time, energy, effort, whatever it is, so that your boss can look at you and say, wow, that's really incredible, I'm really impressed, that's a great job. And you get the promotion or you get more responsibility or whatever it is. Or maybe it's you know, your friends, family, your peers, your coworkers, having that community of collaboration of the people around you and, and pushing each other forward. You don't get that if you're not aiming to impress them and you're just looking to check off some things on a, on a checklist to get the job done or you know, make sure, make sure everything, the boxes are assembled, make sure everything's put together the way it's supposed to be, but don't go above and beyond, right? It's easy to fall into that. And so it's really good to have it at the forefront of your mind that you need to be impressing the people around you and you need to be impressing yourself. Now, I'm not saying that this is always easy. Oftentimes things just need to get done. You know, fast, cheap, or good, pick two. That's the situation we find ourselves in a lot of the time. And oftentimes the good part gets sacrificed for the portion of being fast and being cheap and being affordable. That happens. But even in those situations, it's still good to think about how can you make this the best that it can be so that it has the chance and the opportunity to impress someone around you because you never know where that next job is coming from or where that next opportunity lies. You just don't. And if you take time off to relax and take the easy path and be lazy and do it half-heartedly, that's the time where it might have meant the most. And maybe you missed out. Maybe you missed that opportunity that you could have had otherwise. This is something I try to do all the time on my YouTube channel. And I know that the, the content that I put out, you know, a lot of times is not that impressive. And people look at it and they go, what is this guy doing? He's got like no subscribers. Who is he? He's not a professional. And I pour so much heart and soul and energy into my client projects that my YouTube channel, my personal stuff takes a backseat, but I need to push myself harder to do better. You know, I, I was thinking about doing this video in a room back at the house that I'm staying at. And I thought, why don't I just go, go out and walk and talk, see how that turns out. I don't know. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be bad, but at least it's something new, something different. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. And could this be more impressive? Absolutely. I could be doing way, way better, but that takes time and energy and effort. And you gotta, you gotta push yourself to do those things. And I need to push myself to do that stuff too. So I just want to make a video talking about that, something to keep at the forefront of your mind. So you can always be thinking about it and pushing yourself to do better, to be better, to impress yourself. That's kind of the most important, I think. Yeah, it's important to impress the clients and that's how you get more work and you get higher paying jobs and all that. And it's important to impress your boss. But if you can impress yourself, I think that's a, a portion of how you can be happy with your work and what you're doing and, and find, be content. But you might also never be content because that's good too, because you should never be satisfied. You should always be pushing for, for bigger and better stuff too. But if you can impress yourself, then you can have that little moment of satisfaction where you feel good about what you're doing 
instead of feeling defeated or depressed that you're just pushing the same buttons, doing the same thing over and over again, getting the same results. You don't want that. You want to move to the next level and the next level and the next level. And if you aim to impress, hopefully that puts you on the right path to finding that success that you're looking for.